that we would normally bring to a community engagement network in Dudley. So I'm going to make it real, because um, this is about our practice and how we work. So the reason we thought it was appropriate to bring people together around us today is because we've been approached by a national charity called Urban Forum. They've secured some funding from Barrow Cadbury, which fund activities in the West Midlands. And the project that we're going to work with Urban Forum on um, is about looking at community groups and particularly those who traditionally haven't um, kind of taken power to actually see how they might take advantage of these new community rights in advance of the rights becoming law. So we're doing something that potentially could influence future guidance at national level on how these rights can be used by people who might otherwise be marginalised and kind of not kind of know about them in the first place or have an appetite for them or take advantage of them. So I guess that's the empowering bit, you know, that we're looking at people who perhaps don't hold power. Um, the project itself, um, I hope you don't mind, but the way I decided to describe it in a way that you could take away on a few is by drawing pictures. There's seven stages to it, um, but basically what we're going to do, starting today, is look at local needs, circumstances, capacity and aspiration <coughs> in terms of these rights. Um, we're going to kind of raise awareness of, of what the rights are and you know, things that Andy's just talked about by giving people practical information. Um, and we're going to sort of map what the potential is for activity for those rights to be taken up by people in Dudley. Um, and uh, on the blue sheet at the bottom, where you've got a random picture of what I think are meant to be sort of a travelling country, it says. There's, um, it's, it's particularly run by a woman called Tessie Britton, who I've never met, but I've seen her things on the internet. If you look up travelling country, it's quite interesting. It's a way of looking at um, the different things that a community has to offer and can take advantage of and being creative and so on. It's very bottom of work. Um, we might be using that, hopefully, um, as a way to work with communities in Dudley to, to really have a go at this. And then we'll look at um, what the public sector will need to put in place to be able to listen to what communities are saying around if they wanted to take up these rights. Remembering that all the time we're doing this, they're not yet legislation. So it's kind of testing things out. But actually, it'll put Dudley ahead of the game, potentially, once the law comes in next year. Um, and we're going to have a go, potentially, if we can get the, the right kind of engagement and so on, in actually having a go at implementing some of the activities um, in a community rights action plan for Dudley. And then all the learning that takes place from starting this to getting to that stage, probably sometime around December this year, um, the learning will be captured and the findings will be disseminated up into government. So the Chief Executive Open Forum sits. Um, on t in tables around with uh, government ministers and so on so he can influence there and Urban Forum will take out what they learn from Dudley and travel around the country with that to help other people to learn from what we've done and take things up so massive opportunity for Dudley around this new agenda again let me bring this back to you so engaging together is about empowering approaches you're going to go now into workshops to discuss this um, and you have got a yellow sheet so if any of you haven't been on our training or haven't been to a network event where we've looked at these before if you're wondering well what do we mean by empowering a way to think about it that we recommend is thinking about these five dimensions so if we're working in an empowering way we're working in a way that increases people's skills knowledge and confidence so we have confident communities We'd also be working in a way that actually recognises discrimination exists, um, challenges inequality, and promotes equality of opportunity and good relations between groups. So we're working with, we want inclusive communities. Working in empowering ways means helping people to come together around common issues in ways that are open, transparent and accountable. So it's about having organised communities. And we know we've got lots of community organisations in Dudley that we can work with around that. We want cooperation, um, building positive relationships across groups, which I'm sure you are all advocates are because you come here to network and, and, and meet <coughs> each other and so on. Um, so that's about as well our communities being able to do that, and as well as linking across ways to each other, linking up 
in terms of national links that help them. And we want influential communities, so we want to encourage and equip communities to take part and influence decisions and services and activities that take place. So you've got that for reference in the workshop. Um, we've got, it's, it's entirely up to you how long you take, but if you want till half twelve or a bit longer in the workshops. I have to say, the first thing we're going to ask you to do is fill in a survey, for which I apologise. I feel like this day has been heavy a bit on the PowerPoint and surveys. But it, it, it will really help us to get going with the project. You may feel like, do you know what, I don't know anything about all this. Just tell us that. That in itself is helpful to us, okay? It's not a judgement on you or your knowledge. It's, it's to help us to start to map what, what knowledge base we started from in Dudley. Um, so you're going to go into your, back into the groups that you were in before. First thing you'll do is just have a bit of quiet time to, to fill in this survey. If you wouldn't mind, I'd really appreciate it. It'll help the project. And then we'll have discussions around this. Is it worth saying that um, we're asking people to complete the survey with the knowledge that they had before they came this year? Yeah, yeah that's really helpful. So the survey isn't a test of what you just heard Andy say. It's not, we're not going to mark you. Um, if you treat it as if you had been given it when you came in the door, what do you know about community life? <coughs> just questions about what you think we can do. But then we'll explore more broadly how we can use an empowering approach, Dudley's approach to working around this community rights project and community rights more generally. And then there's time at the end of that workshop, if you wish to use it, to carry on networking, because this, these events are about making the connections that you might want to that help you to work with communities. So feel free to use that time however you want. If you want to be introduced to people, come and ask me, and I'll try and find people. I think I know most people. So, so all right, so thank you very much for listening to us. Sorry it's been rather a lot of talking from our side today. Um, but, yeah, please kind of decamp to your rooms and have a good old chat about this and how it might relate to your work as well, if that's all right. Okay, so thank you.